Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a blaze rod EMC generator. Um, first of all, you got to start off by placing some redstone pneumatic tubing. You can place however many you want. I'm just going to place 15 for now. Put some generators on top of those. Once you got your generators down, you're going to want to put down a condenser, immediately followed by a filter. And you're going to want to put fuel cells, and, or lava cells in there, sorry. Once you get some lava cells in there, you just dump a few diamonds and you'll have your fuel source for your geothermals. You just got to wire those up. Connect them up to some MFSUs, however many you want, doesn't really matter. I'm going to use four here, just for fun. Connect that up to a medium voltage transformer and then connect that up to seven macerators once you got this going basically what this is doing is this condenser is creating lava cells that will be having diamonds filtered into it later on um, and they will go into the geothermal generators creating energy so your macerators can macerate blaze rods turn it into dust turn the dust back into blaze rods and have infinite EMC generation so once you got the macerators down you're going to want to put down some filters like so once you got your filters down you want to run some redstone pneumatic tubing However many you want off of it doesn't really matter, so long as you have two in line like this. This first one is going to be for blaze rods. So you're going to want to target that, put some in there just for fun, get it started. Get a filter going. As you can see, I'm not prepared, as always. another filter next to this one now this one right here that I'm standing on top of is going to go to the lava cell condenser this one is going to keep the infinite power going this one right here that I'm now standing on is going to supply the blaze rods to the macerators on the top just like this and you're going to see that I'm going to put two blaze rods in there in the filter because I'm going to have this side right here pulsing at 0.4 seconds with my timer right here I'm going to have a timer pulsing here at about oh, I don't know we'll say a full minute and then we're going to have a timer here pulsing at every second and we'll bump up to 10 and then let me get some levers so I can turn them off so that's going to be annoying listening to that while we're creating this machine so now you're going to want to run some you know, jacketed wire, whatever kind you want, cobblestone, marble, you know, it's really up to you, whatever you want to do. You want to make sure that every redstone pneumatic tubing is connected. Okay, and then once you've got this base set up, so you've got the pneumatic tubing with the filter and the condenser, that'll be feeding all the cells in. You have your geothermal generators hooked up via fiberglass cable to some MFSUs, which is hooked up to a medium voltage transformer, which is hooked up to seven advanced uh, macerators. These are the quote-unquote original advanced machines. They are the ones that don't require any upgrades to uh, have better efficiency. You have filters here doesn't matter if you put anything in them they'll automatically pull out of the side because that's where they're oriented uh, these will be pulling the blaze powder out and it'll be putting it into this chest first 
which will be feeding back and creating a cycle. Um, it macerates into five dust, and five dust turns into two and a half blaze rods. That's where you get your gain from. Uh, once this chest fills up, um, it will come into this chest, which you're going to target diamonds, and you're going to have this pull out two diamonds every time. So eventually that one will fill up and you'll have a mess, but it takes a really long time. Uh, you're going to want to extend this out so the priority system stays the same for those two. You're going to want to put down two more condensers, at the very least. I like doing three, just for fun. And I'm going to cheat in some uh, diamond blocks. Because once you have this thing running, it's going to be producing so much EMC, it's not even funny. So now that we've got these set up, we've got this redstone pneumatic tubing and this one hooked up through this one timer. We have this filter hooked up to this timer, feeding into the lava cell chest. We have the lava cell filter pumping into the geothermal generators. And we have our three condensers targeting something higher than uh, diamonds because that'll fill up way too quickly. Um, and that's going to basically be our backflow stop. So once you're ready to start it, just turn on your timers. And you can watch the whole thing start going. It takes a little while to build up, uh, which is why if you want to really get it going nice and good, uh, keep this down at like two seconds at the start. Just let it get those uh, lava cells dispersed. And if you have extra diamonds, throw them in. You only need like maybe five to start. Um, one to target in here and this condenser. Two for this filter. You can use one as well. I use two just to make sure that it always has enough. Uh, you want to throw some diamonds in here to start it up. See, because now I've got some geothermals pumping out energy. And as you can see over here, well, actually right here, it's filling up and it's dispersing it out into here. So this guy's running. He's going to run a little slow at first because the uh, first MFSU isn't filled up. But once it starts generating enough power to consistently output EU, you're going to see that there's going to be a pretty large gain here. Um, I'm going to throw in some more diamonds just to show you how quickly this machine starts producing some EMC. I'm going to go underneath and uh, apply a redstone signal to all of this stuff. Let me give myself a shovel. Yeah, just for fun. It's going to be a little bit easier going through this stuff. So we're going to put down some redstone wiring. Make sure our machines are running at full speed. I should have done this earlier, but you know it's it's part of the warm up. If you don't want to do that, um, now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take some redstone wire and I am going to um, put it in every space but three spaces. Now the reason I'm doing that is because red alloy wire has no EMC value. So in a condenser, it's just going to sit there which means you're not going to have as much EMC backup inside of your chest which means more diamond blocks faster because you won't have to deal with letting this condenser fill up which would take forever and you end up wasting a ridiculous amount of EMC I'm going to do the same thing in this one except I'm going to leave two spaces open reason for that is one space for the diamonds one space for the blaze powder uh, and once the diamonds get up to a full 64 stack the blaze power will fill up to a full stack and then it'll stop collecting any blaze powder because it's full. It can't convert any more powder into diamonds. And it's nice using red alloy wire because it looks like little X's. So it's a little convenient. So once these 
two chests fill up. This one will have one stack of blaze rods, maybe two, and blaze powder and one of the two. It'll start filling up this chest with diamonds. I'll throw those in there just for easy. Easier filling up stake. Once this one fills up with the diamonds here and the blaze powder here, it'll move into here. So I'm going to uh, cut recording and I'll come back once the machine has started to catch up and show you guys what can really happen. Be back soon. I'm just showing you right now that once this chest fills up with the blaze rods, it'll start throwing the extra blaze powder once it's all filled up. As you can see, it's almost there. And once it's filled up, you can see it moving across the tubes into this one. It's going to start creating diamonds. And once the diamonds are full, as I said earlier, the blaze rods will stack until they're full. And then they'll continue into here. And uh, it's, it's quite nice EMC. You guys, you guys will see very shortly. And as you can see right here, the uh, first two chests have filled up. And you'll see that the blaze powder will run into there in like huge amounts that's because it sees an opening in that chest so it all tries to pack it in there but it can't fit anymore so it'll bounce out and then it'll continue down into these chests and you can see it's already created a diamond block in every chest and it's almost ready for another one in this one there you go and that one has another one this one's about to have another one so you can see this is a lot of EMC and it builds up very very quickly it's it's really, really nice. It's also really cheaty, like, in single player. But, I mean, if you want to abuse EMC, this is how you do it. So as you can see, I removed the two side condensers. I'm just going to show you how much EMC this really is. I mean, just look at that. It can't even keep up with how much blaze powder is coming in. And it's just a steady race across that line, showing you that it's creating 73,000 EMC in the matter of seconds. And then, of course, this is why I have the other condensers, because eventually this chest will start filling up. So two can keep up. I usually have three, uh, you know, just as a nice safety measure. Plus, it gives you more storage for your diamond blocks. So if one fills up, you still got the other one. And as you can see, the second stack is filling up. So this is why I have three. As soon as you put another one, though, you can see that it'll uh, it'll quickly even out. So you can use two personal preference is three you know it's just it's what I like so that's what I choose to do but as you can see I'm, I'm not even up to full speed yet uh, some of these are still at like 7,000 rpms and they can be a lot higher I haven't fully tested uh, how many blaze rods you can pull out on every tick because if you pull out too many then you get a big mess in here and while red power does a really nice job of negating uh, entity count when in the tubes here it still it just it causes like this visual thing and eventually if it fills up too much then the filter may have a backlog and that's when you start to have big trouble uh, so I'm sure three is probably enough to keep up with six macerators um, you can always just add another chest with another filter and uh, have it keep pushing out at the same pace. Um, that's how I have it in my current single player world at the moment, but it's really all up to you. I mean, if you want to overflow beyond belief just so you can make sure you have max efficiency with your macerators, then by all means, that's, that's how you can do it. But this is the simplest and most efficient way to create EMC. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I hope you learned something. That's that's sort of the intent of this video. So if you liked it and you thought it was helpful, just let me know. And I might even create some more tutorials. Alrighty, guys. Take care.